completing over 300 VFX shots, Framestore certainly bit off a nice chunk of the VFX work in Avengers Endgame. From helping to breathe life into a smart Hulk to completely replacing costumes. What? Yep, these guys certainly know their stuff. So it's no wonder they ended up working on such an amazing project. Hi, I'm Jamie Gutierrez from Fame Focus, and this is a VFX breakdown of Avengers Endgame Part 3. Framestore were the original developers of the character Rocket back in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, giving him a slight upgrade for Volume 2. For Avengers Endgame, Framestore have given him yet another upgrade, this time making him a little greyer. Care needed to be taken not to overdo any tweaks to the character, too much and he ran the risk of looking like a totally different character. They also gave his suit a refresh, adding goggles and a red scarf. Lovely. Next up is the quantum suits made of high-tech armoured cloth and carbon fibre that we see them wearing to travel through the quantum realm. Fun fact for you, they weren't even wearing them. Nope, for these shots the actors just wore their everyday casual superhero costumes. Why, you may ask? Well, the most logical explanations are timing, flexibility and convenience. Having fully CGI costumes would have meant that they weren't locked into any specific design, nor did they have to wait for costumes to be made. They could also incorporate the nanotech effects more seamlessly, and seeing as they needed to create photoreal costumes for transitions anyway, just tracking them to the actors for the rest of the scenes kind of makes sense. That would be my guess anyway. So reasons aside, to achieve this Framestore built digital doubles for each character, then set about building the suits based on concepts provided by Marvel Studios. They're Ant-Man-esque helmets that look like they were made from a mix of nanobots and Guardians tech look pretty good. Although I personally think they could have improved it a tiny bit by adding a little head jolt from the inertia of the helmet when it flips forwards. At the moment, the actors just stay completely still. No movement. Here's a really dodgily edited version of his head jolting versus non-jolting. Let us know in the comments which one you think looks more natural. Now, brushing aside this costume swap, been there, done that, let's talk about what Framestore did to bring back the quantum van from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Framestore used scans of the original to build the whole model on. They used Nuke to get it to look as close as the original as possible, and then decided which elements needed to be 3D. For the quantum effects, they used a mixture of optical effects, aberrations, colour breakup, heat distortions, and even their own blue plasma. For the big quantum gate time travel portal, this effect was magnified, and had to integrate with the Avengers shrinking and falling down into it. To achieve this, they had to use a lot more optical effects, such as heat distortions, atmospherics, smoke, time echoes and lens tilts, with a few flares for good measure, in order to key it all together nicely. Framestore also worked on the super-realistic Smart Hulk. To get the ball rolling, they developed their machine learning technology to learn source footage of Mark Ruffalo for it then to create a soul in order to match it in animation. With this technique, they were then able to create a first pass of animation that would help filmmakers decide on the edit in order to begin adding face shapes to use in the rig. The build of his face was challenging, as it's not as simple as having Mark Ruffalo wear a Hulk costume with the face cut out. It just looks silly. Ruffalo and Hulk's face shapes are actually quite different. For example, Hulk has a bigger mouth and deeper eye sockets, so tiny changes to Ruffalo's face actually had a huge effect on Smart Hulk's performance. So a new subset of facial shapes was created with more complex and nuanced expressions to give animators that extra bit of control that they needed. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments section what movies you'd like us to break down next. And as always, you'll find the links to the music in this video in the video description right down at the bottom to scroll all the way down. And I'll see you in the next one.